The first part of our complex weaving is to begin by making the loom. We're going to paint our loom using six different colors of your choosing and paint a repeating pattern of these circles. We're going to be filling our whole entire paper. You can choose to paint your circles thick or thin and in any the order that you would like. You can make a pattern, you can create your own order. Just have fun and fill in your whole paper. Once our paper is dry, we're going to fold it in half and turn it into the loom. Take a ruler and line it up against the open edge of your piece of paper. This will be the line that you stop when you're cutting your strips. You're going to cut seven or eight strips along your loom starting at the folded edge and these can be a variety of different types of lines or you can do the same line over and over again. Now that our loom is cut, we're going to get some skinny strips of colored paper. You're going to choose one color of those paper and you're going to create a complex weaving. I have several different examples that I will provide to you so you can choose the pattern that you would like to do. What I'm doing here is my first strip goes over, under, over, under, like our traditional weavings. Then the second strip goes every two strips and then the third goes every two, but I start in a different spot. I repeat these same three types of weaving lines again and again to create a complex pattern on my paper. After you finish weaving, we're going to trim the strips on the side, leaving a little bit of leftover to overhang as like a fringe type thing for our weaving. The last thing we're going to do is get a second piece of construction paper, write your name and class code on the back, turn your weaving over, apply glue on the back, and then stick this new piece of paper on top. This will lock all of your strips in place so they don't move.